the town of Theowar, northern Senegal. It was in these humble surroundings that Senegal's last surviving World War I trooper lived out his final years. Abdoulaye Undiaye fought for France from the beginning of the Great War. He left for the front in 1914. He talked about his journey from Dakar, where they received very basic military training in the camp of Thia Royer. That's where they gave them basic training, for someone from the back country to become a soldier. Abdoulaye was just 20 years old when he was sent to the battles of the Somme and Verdun. While fighting at the Somme, he received a serious head wound, which continued to cause him pain years later. At the end of the war, he returned to Senegal with a modest pension and a French railway pass, which he was never to use. What I know is that he was honoured to have accomplished something. I mean taking part in military combat with all the perils of war, the threat of death. To have done it for France, but also to have done it to bring honour to his father and his brothers. Abdoulaye lived to the age of 104, passing away in 1998, just one day before he was due to be presented with the Legion of Honour. He received the award posthumously. All that he earned, he shared. That is why he did not leave much behind. When he received his pension allowance, he would share it with others on the very same morning. As a last wish, he requested that France do something to improve his village. This French-funded road, known as Sharpshooter's Path, was opened in 2002. Today, Abdoulaye's family just want to ensure that this legacy is maintained.